definitely the most fun I've had in my Formula 1 career. One Red Bull attacking a Ferrari. Shine these new kids into Formula 1, are they? <laughs> very, very fun. Always borderline. On the limit, near the edge. I think always in the rules and it was uh, very enjoyable from the car. Tremendous racing. We're on lap 10. Verstappen's closer to Leclerc. Is he close enough? Now, he does think about it. He wanted to move down the inside at Stowe and Leclerc took the racing line and very quickly Verstappen realised there was nothing doing there. Leclerc takes the inside into Vale as well, wants to force Verstappen the long way round and definitely the Ferrari starting to struggle with traction out of some of these corners because Verstappen is on the hunt and gaining and gaining all the time. There's a terrific scrap here between Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen behind it. And there goes Max Verstappen, diving down the inside, has to switch now to go round the outside. The wheel to wheel again, unlike in Austria. Ah, look this, at this time, he's in trouble. Verstappen has to come off second best. And he's conceded a bit of ground here because Sebastian Vettel's right on his tail. Vettel goes down the inside of Brooklyn somehow. Verstappen fends off the Ferrari. Fair enough there. Leclerc took the racing line. Verstappen had to get out of the throttle. Yeah. As into the pits comes Charles Leclerc, and into the pits comes Max Verstappen. Right, job on now for the pit crews, because we could see a swap around here if the Red Bull crew can get a much better pit stop than Ferrari. Let's see, it's uh, Leclerc who stops first. On go the medium compound tyre. That's a U set, on go medium for Max Verstappen as well. And look, they're now wheel to wheel down the pit lane, but Verstappen has actually got about a metre advantage, and they have swapped round in the pits. It was all down to the work of the pit crew. Verstappen gets ahead of Leclerc. Leclerc on medium compound tyres and Verstappen too. And even better, they get out just ahead of Carlos Sainz oh, as well. He's, he's gone, gone wide. wide. Has all the good work become undone as Verstappen tries to fight back and then sees Charles Leclerc swoop past him. Now he pulls out to go alongside the Ferrari. It's wheel to wheel. Down into Brooklyn's Leclerc is back out in front of Verstappen. And it was Leclerc in front who had the DRS because at the DRS detection point, he was behind. <laughs> if you're wondering why the car in front had his rear wing open. So Verstappen really struggling out of the pits, a little error there, and Leclerc wasted no time in taking advantage of that. Uh, no grip. Here comes Max Verstappen again. How did he not make contact with a Ferrari as he pulled out from behind the rear wing of Charles Leclerc? You can sense the frustration going on of the Dutchman as a head under the crash helmet because he knows he's got the pace here, but he just can't find a way past Charles Leclerc. This is not Austria. This is Silverson, and it's not quite happening for him at the moment. But boy, oh boy, was that close to contact. You have to keep here today when I can go to the right boat. The battery level is low, Max. The battery level is low, so watch you're attacking, that's the best mode. Here goes Max Verstappen into Brooklyn's. Charles Leclerc is still ahead. Verstappen is trying every single trick in the book at the moment and a few pages he wrote himself oh. as he goes onto the gravel and you can hear the gasps, the oohs and the ahs from the crowd as he somehow manages to keep it under control. One thing they would like to do is applaud him when he gets past the Ferrari, but he just can't do it yet. He's moving really late. Remember what I said in Austria when I said I didn't think there should be a penalty. You know, what goes around comes around. <laughs> it's just coming around, isn't it? <laughs> This is absolutely brilliant racing between two supremely, supremely talented drivers and they are giving it everything here. Here comes Verstappen again! He's almost pushed onto the grass! Somehow Leclerc stayed ahead! And I think Verstappen had to back off a little bit there because he was almost on the grass on the inside at Stowe. This is getting serious. That was really late. On the limit, near the edge, that one. Safety car deployed for Antonio Giovinazzi, who seems to have dropped it in the gravel. Max Verstappen has pitted Verstappen into the pits for the second time. Charles Leclerc stayed out. And our Ferrari compounding Charles Leclerc's problems here by pitting him onto the hard compound tyre behind the safety car. Is he coming out behind Max Verstappen? I rather think he is. How the hell did he lose the position? 
still a long race, anything can happen, so stay focused. And we can go racing oh, once again. Max Verstappen, he's really struggling, isn't he, on fresh tyres? Got to watch these hard compound tyres as well. We're going racing. Oh, Look there it. goes Verstappen on the inside of Charles Leclerc. Verstappen struggling. I think Max will be asking to be let past to Gasly, Pierre Gasly, his teammate, but Leclerc having a good run at the pair of them at the moment. Tremendous racing. Verstappen wide again, he's now going to have to defend against Leclerc. He's been doing all the attacking on Leclerc, now he's defending. They do touch <laughs> wheels as Charles Leclerc barges his way through and Max Verstappen hangs out round the outside to try and regain the place, which he does. But did he regain that position off the track? And here we go then, this is Vale. And Leclerc gets on the power beautifully. He's got the apex, nothing wrong with that at all. And uh, nothing wrong at all. So he's been left to cars with, fine. Now he's squirted the throttle, got himself the corner. A little bit of contact. He stays largely on the road, I would say. Leclerc did there. But Leclerc is like, okay, okay, I'll give up Austria. But if that's how we're going racing, yeah. that's how we're going racing.